Hi, I'm Jordan. Um, I wanted to do a quick uh, impressions video of the Unlock Secret Adventures. This was the, I think the third set of the Unlock games to come out. I just finished uh, the last one last night. And before I move on to the newest set that just came out, I wanted to put some thoughts down about these. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not gonna try not to spoil anything. Um, but let's look at them in the order in which I liked them least to most. So this one, um, Toonstone Express, is a level two. So usually I think they're usually a level one, a level two, and a level three in difficulty. This one is the level two. Usually level two is kind of our sweet spot, usually. Um, but this one was easily our least favorite of the three. Um, when we play these, typically it's just my wife and I. Um, we have good, I don't know, different types of intelligence. So we kind of balance each other out that way. Um, this one, I just don't think it matched with what we were good at, maybe. It's just kind of, some of the puzzles just felt overly frustrating to us, which is going to happen, but there wasn't enough that really pushed it over. Um, I really love the Wild West theme. I thought that was really cool. There's a weird little mini game halfway through. I'm not going to say what it is, because it really does kind of catch you by surprise, but that one was kind of fun. Um, but the whole, this one is more of a mystery. You're trying to figure out kind of who done it kind of and I don't know I just didn't we could see it after it was all said and done but I don't know how we would have come to it I looked online other people figured it out it's probably just us but this one was probably our least favorite um, I think I rated this one maybe a six out of ten um, this one the no side story this was their level the level one in difficulty this is a sequel to the first one, Squeak and Sausage, which is one of our favorites in the whole Unlock series. Um, I think the the whole cart evil genius cartoon theme is weird. It's also supposed to be weird, so that, you know, kudos there. Um, it kind of has that, um, I don't know, it kind of has that old like 90s cartoon vibe to it where it's kind of, you know, funny but kind of gross at the same time. Uh, <clears throat> which is fine. It's not something I'm super into. Um, but this one was actually a lot of fun. The puzzles were, this is de this one definitely is the easiest one. You just kind of coast through, but you have, um, you know, there's some that kind of make you stop and think for a while. We almost beat this one in the 60 minutes. Um, this one is, you definitely need the sound on your phone for this one. You have to play it with the app uh, with the sound on or else you're gonna miss some things. Um, which we did have the sound on, and we didn't miss anything. We're still trying, I don't know what we did, but this one's great. Um, also, this one was, um, the hidden numbers, we just had a hard time with that. I always, we always play in the app that you, um, it, the, you can click on the app to tell you when there are secret numbers, because we're awful at that, and it just feels like such a waste of a clue if you're just looking for a number on it, so. But this one was really good. Um, I think I gave that a seven out of 10, something like that. It was great. Um, this one, The Adventures of Oz, might be our favorite unlock game so far. As somebody who knows nothing about The Wizard of Oz and could care less about anything Wizard of Oz related, this one was so good. Um, it's the rated, rated three, which it was, tricky, but I didn't think it was overly challenging. I thought it was a little easier than the Tombstone Express one, actually. Um, but this one was really cool. It had this um, kind of cool decoder card that you had to use throughout. Um, that's not a spoiler. You get it right at the door. Um, and it has a map, which is really cool. Not A lot of the unlock games don't come with those kind of extra pieces, and this one did, which was really neat. Um, uh, you knowing the Wizard of Oz story apparently would help you. I know I did one choice without consulting my wife who chided me for a while because apparently you don't do that if you know anything about the Wizard of Oz and we lost some points or lost some minutes or whatever. Um, so, but all in all, I didn't have to know anything about this and the story was really good. It had one of the strongest stories throughout. It had this really interesting storytelling um, cadence to it where you were actually learning, like, you were actually going through the story of the Wizard of Oz. Where some of them, you're just kind of going from room to room to room, collecting clues, adding this number to this number, 
oh, we get another card, add this card. This one, you're actually going from place to place and doing this activity, then this activity, then this part of the story. And it all just kind of came together really well at the end. There are also some like side quests in this one that the other ones didn't have that I've never seen before in an unlock game, which was really cool as well. Um, so all in all, I think this one was either a nine or a 10 for us. It was really cool, really good. Um, but yeah, all in all, this was a great series. Um, the Secret Adventures, uh, I think this is the third series in the Unlock games. I'm really excited about the next one. I know there's a dinosaur one, which is super exciting for me. And um, yeah, so I'll hopefully get those three to the table and um, come back at you with those. All right, thanks, I'm Jordan. Have a good one.